So we've had our first roadside emergency here on the Alaska Highway. This is all ice. It was absolutely terrifying. So we've had our first roadside emergency here on the Alaska Highway. This is all ice. You can see this side's clear. This is all ice. And Judy has gone off the road. She skidded. It was absolutely terrifying. There's Destiny. Um, we have some tow strip here. So I'm gonna hook it up to her car hook it up to the back of the LMTV, put it in the four-wheel drive mode and we can go ahead and pull her out. We just have to be careful because there's a lot of traffic on this road. Well, it doesn't look like a lot, but there's, it's heavily used. So, even though we got loads of our stuff stolen, there is faith in humanity. These two truckers have stopped. Um, they lent us some chain. We managed to find the hook point for the vehicle. Judy's still in there. One of the truckers is going to block the road and um, we're going to pull out the truck. There's Jason with the shovel. My mum's in there with the dogs. The car's been successfully removed. We did get some tips from those truckers. It only gets worse going forward. So the next 200 miles of our journey takes us from Fort Nelson all the way to Liard Springs. Now we did stay two nights uh, in Fort Nelson because we had to make an appointment to get new tires for the vehicles. Good morning guys. So here we are in Fort Nelson, British Columbia. Very snowy. So my Jeep tires, I have the Pirelli Scorpions on here. These are a mixed terrain tire, but as you can see, we have the little wind symbol here, which we found out is legally required in British Columbia. We just got Jason's Jeep, some new tires. These are the Bridgestone. Blizzak. And these ones are winter rated too. There's the little symbol. We have Judy's car in the shop right now getting some winter tires on. Come on.
Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest Show Lake, British Columbia. It's stunning here, if you can see. For the LMTV tires, we have these Goodyears on there, and online it did say they were good for mud, sand, and snow. So winter tires are definitely uh, required to do this journey. Um, but you live and you learn. And thank God we're still living to learn. Anyway. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> We drove from Liard Hot Springs to Watson Lake, which was a total of 129 miles. It was so relaxing when we got to Liard Springs because they have a hot springs that we traveled to. We walked through the snow down this wooden pathway for like ever. Um, but it was so awesome because the springs felt so amazing. It's so cold outside, but then the springs, there's like steam coming off of it. Although, it did have a funky smell. <laughs> but it was super relaxing and we definitely needed the break after driving for so long. Yeah, we just smelt like rotten eggs when we got back to the hotel. <laughs> Good morning, it's 8.50 a.m., 10 degrees outside. Got the LMTV started up nice, it's warming up, and we are heading to our next destination, which is Larry the Crocodile. middle of nowhere. We were just coming down a slight incline behind us and 
the LMTV made a, it was the radiator fan noise. Even though it wasn't above 200, um, that started running and then I lost accelerator. And I had no way of accelerating. So once I got to the bottom, I pulled over and the engine cut out. may look a bit different. I'm in the Jeep, my trusty old Jeep, and um, the LMTV broke down in the middle of nowhere. We have no cell phone service. It's currently one degrees and um, quite a stressful situation. But we have to drive about 70 something miles to the next town, try and find a mechanic. Wish us luck. After the LMTV broke down somewhere between Liard and Watson Lake, we were able to secure a tow truck to take it to Watson Lake, where the mechanic took a look at it the next morning. That was expensive. This leg of the journey we drove from Watson Lake to Whitehorse for a total of 280 miles. Yeah, quite a trip. Well, LMTV is running. We got Brian in there looking at it. We gotta to speak to him and figure out what actually went wrong and how he started it, because we could not last night. This leg of the journey took us from Whitehorse to Toke, Alaska, which was a total of 390 miles. You'll notice that we probably say Tok because we had no idea that it's supposed to be called Toke. The roads exiting Canada for I'd say the last 20 or 30 miles from Canada to the US border. Treacherous. Lots of potholes. There was frost heaves in the road. The LMTV was rocking side to side and we had to take it extremely slow. Yeah. We were averaging maybe 30 miles per hour just about that entire way. So it took us forever, even though it wasn't a very long distance. Uh, it seemed to like double our time. <laughs> okay, we are on the way to Alaska. It is negative eight degrees Fahrenheit here. Super cold. You can see it in my breath. Um, but honestly, negative eight doesn't feel that much colder than some of the other weather we're experiencing. But we should be in Alaska within a couple of hours.
We are in Tok, Alaska. We did a long day, 11 hours driving. We just got here absolutely freezing cold and five miles out of town, the relay switch went out again. Thankfully, I purchased one at Canada Tire, Canadian Tire, before we left and put that in, fired right up. So that was the last one they had in stock. I'm gonna buy some more tomorrow. And tomorrow we should be in Anchorage. I think we're about 350 miles away. So we're super close and I'm super happy we are in Alaska. Jason's happy too. And the last and final leg of our journey took us from Toke to Palmer, Alaska for a total of 285 miles. Rough morning so far. LMTV is not starting. Six degrees. We've put a heater up to the battery. I have my block heater on the engine. We have another heater under here trying to heat up the engine. Just trying to get the fucking thing to start so we can get out of here. We literally have 300 miles to go. This is the last leg. I just want to get there and not drive this for a while. I'm trying to warm up the engine with this ready heater. We have to leave this for about an hour, hopefully we get it started. As you can see, we got it started and we're ready to go. Well, we just lost power again. This is the third relay switch we've used. We managed to pick one more up from Napa Auto and put that in and it fired up. We're heading back to talk. switch we don't have any more they don't have any more in stock and um, we didn't make it to talk so we're leaving the LMTV behind and um, we're gonna go see the mechanic we're gonna have to get it towed again thankfully it's not super far hopefully it doesn't cost $1,300 again and we need to get it fixed at this point I'm just over this journey I want to get to Palmer I want to get this truck to Palmer I just want to sit down and not drive and not travel and not stress anymore we got the LMTV back into the shop and we're having the mechanic take a look at the electrical panel mechanic couldn't really figure out what to do this is the relay switch we're having a problem with it's the ignition and we took the horn relay switch and we put it in the ignition and we're hoping that will fix the problem. Some of these other ones we bought have all blown out and they're not working and all of the shops have sold out with them. So the next step is gonna be trying to just drive it tomorrow morning keeping this one in. Okay, let's try this again. Toke 
to Palmer, 285 miles, take two. During this leg of the journey, uh, it was freezing cold and the LMTV, they didn't want to run the heat in there because they were afraid with all of the relay switch issues that it was going to pull too much power. So Phil um, dressed really warm, but still not warm enough because even his toes today, uh, he doesn't really have feeling in them. <laughs> I ended up getting, not frostbite, but some cold weather injuries on my toes. The feeling is coming back after about four months of living here. But we didn't want to run the heating in the LMTV because I didn't want to add additional stress to the circuit board, if that even made a difference. But I figured freezing to death. <laughs> Freezing to death was a better option for him, stress-wise. <laughs> so, thank you so much for following along during these videos. It's been fun to make, uh, really fun to kind of piece the story back together and relive the memories. Uh, I'm really glad that we'll have this video to share throughout our life. And it is an adventure, such as life. <laughs> So, please join us on YouTube for future adventures coming yes. your way. And make sure, hit the like button, subscribe, and please comment. Bye! Bye! <laughs>
Freezing to death was a better option for him, stress-wise. <laughs> we are recording. Hey, cameras are rolling. Quiet on set. Hey. Lily. Quiet on set. Oliver, please don't. Lily, quiet on set. Hey, that's it. You're fired. We're finding a new actor. And we still have the LMTV. We plan to turn it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm really cold. Turn it off. 